Hey, Psych2Goers. We hope you know that we're here for you during these crazy times of COVID-19. We want you to stay safe and healthy, and we'll fight this together. Is there anyone in your life who you think may be struggling with depression? Or perhaps that person is you? If so, you've likely seen how it complicates daily life and how it not only affects the depressed, but also everyone around them. It's emotionally painful to see someone you love in so much pain, but you're not sure how to help them. Relationships aren't easy, so loving someone with a mental health diagnosis can be even more of a challenge. They tend to talk themselves down and wallow in their feelings of self-hatred and hopelessness, convinced that they're undeserving of love. Depression builds walls around people, putting a lot of emotional distance between you and your loved one. Yet, you continue to reach out and support them. You do it because you're connected to them and you love them. After all, one of the most beautiful and powerful things in life is true human connection. Nurturing it can help you find happiness even in the darkest of times, and it will help you restore what depression has taken away. So, let's go through seven reasons to love someone with depression. One, they're stronger than most. When was the last time you were in any sort of heated conflict, physical or verbal? Now imagine that energy expenditure, but inside your head, and it never ends. Fighting depression is a constant battle with your own mind, with the weapons of loneliness, emptiness, and hopelessness being used against the sufferer. You can imagine that whoever has fought against depression is likely one of the strongest, most resilient individuals you know. Sometimes they don't win, and the amount of courage and determination required to get back up is tremendous. Two, their depression does not define them. Of utmost importance, you are loving a person, not a diagnosis. Although this person has a mental illness, this does not define who they are and does not indicate a foregone conclusion. Some of the greatest individuals in history, such as Abraham Lincoln, Winston Churchill, and Georgia O'Keeffe struggled with depression for much of their lives. Despite this, they rose above it all and made their lives mean something more. Three, they're more understanding. People who have depression become more understanding and empathetic to the suffering of others. They know how it feels like to be shunned and ignored by others due to the stigma behind mental illness. Because of this, they tend to be more open-minded and non-judgmental. It's easy to let yourself be emotionally vulnerable with them because they can easily empathize with whatever it is you may be feeling, and they'll likely understand your point of view better than others. Or, they're more honest. Depression has a tendency to make those who suffer from it more brutally honest. Just as they understand what it's like to be shunned, they also understand what it's like to have their time wasted and feelings hurt by fake niceties and false promises. You can always trust them to tell you the truth, no matter how ugly or painful it may be. They don't usually have any ulterior motives behind their words or their actions because they put a lot of value in a person's sincerity and straightforwardness. Five, they're quite appreciative. We know, you might think, that wall doesn't seem like they care about anything I do for them. Yeah, there is a wall. However, those with depression don't really want to be left all alone. They value and are grateful for those who stay by their side, making that effort to connect and reach out. But they don't want to burden you by seeming like they need it too much. They're very appreciative. They're just trying not to be creepy about it. Six, they're good listeners. Someone who's depressed tends to feel lonely and misunderstood. So they go out of their way to ensure that their loved ones don't feel that way. They want you to know that you are heard and accepted. They know how amazing it can feel to have someone get you. So they're eager to return any empathy and support others have shown them in any way they can, usually by listening. And seven, they're deep thinkers. Many recent studies have observed a link between overthinking and depression. There are quite a few upsides to being a deep thinker such as being perceptive, intuitive, and insightful about life. I'm sure you've heard the contemplation, what is the meaning of life? That mindset is very much what the depressed person contemplates, as finding meaning gives them hope and purpose. To give a simple analogy, a flower blooms the most beautiful and vibrant when given proper support and care. People are the same way. Those with mental illnesses are still people. Although it can feel like an uphill battle much of the time, Encouragement, understanding, 
and simply being there to help them through the suffering goes a long way to helping that flower bloom. Did any of these points speak to you? How are you thinking you might change your approach to others or yourself? If you're suffering from depression, did you find these points accurate? Please comment, like, and share this video with someone who would benefit from it. We'll see you in the next video.